Champions won more bodybuilding titles than anyone in the history of the sport. Big Snookona. Thank you, Uncle Max. Look at Max, he's beaming with pride. Well, you know, it takes him and that's his adopted kid. Some kid. members of the press for your special interest in the Vince Nakona bodybuilding team. How was your team's English tour? It was the most gratifying event of my entire career. Every exhibition was packed. As a matter of fact, let me show you one of the reasons. The spectacular, Miss Samantha Sisko. <laughs> that it's more than just the gym. The Nakona Body Center is the ultimate health center of tomorrow. What will some of your exclusive features be? The gym will be open 24 hours a day. The doors will never close. And you're all invited to a special black tie charity affair this Sunday to see the facility for yourselves. It will be the most exciting exhibition of bodybuilding ever held. And thank you all very much for coming. phenomena of bodybuilding. Here's a 300 pound weight. Take one more step, big fella. And it'll look like you bought your belly button in a two for one sale. First, pick up the barbell. Very good, big Vince. A lot of folks would assume you muscle guys are a little short-changed upstairs. We know that ain't true, don't we? I figure you for a smart guy. If you do what you're told. I want you to throw the barbell through the window. And make sure your timing is perfect because I want a bullseye in the bed of the truck. <coughs> to the window. if you want to stay alive.
It was a... You know, I just don't get it. First, Max is beaten up. And then a one-eyed man is killed. And just to steal a barbell. <laughs> yeah. And a barbell so heavy that not very many people can lift it. Vince, you carried that barbell through customs, didn't you? Yeah. Do most bodybuilders take their equipment on tour with them? As far as I know, I'm the only person that does that. I guess you might call it my personal good luck charm. Good luck charm? How about a rabbit's foot? It's a lot lighter to carry. You know, the first barbell I ever had was the one Uncle Max bought me. That was when you were a kid, right? Yeah. He and my dad got loaded one night, and they painted the barbell red. And ever since then, I've been using red barbells. So then it would mean something to you, but it wouldn't mean anything to anybody else. Exactly. Hey, Vince, get a load of this. What is it? It's a barbell. It's bent. Well, that's not exactly a first in the annals of weightlifting. Yeah, but it's bent over here by the collar. This barbell glitters. You mean there's gold in them there barbells? And all the time I thought I was pumping iron. All the time you thought you were pumping iron, you were pumping gold. Solid gold. Hey, it looks terrific, Vince. Inscription and everything. Uncle Max, who made it all happen from Vince. Perfect touch. Well, it's very sweet, Vince, but don't you think you're overdoing it a little bit? I mean, the thieves are just going to... This is perfect. It gives the, the dignified place that the barbell so richly deserves. Well, if you say so. Also, those guys have very destructive personalities. It'll give them a feeling of uh, great accomplishment. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, Vince. See you. OK, thanks, Ted. That. Now what? Now what? Now, Vince. Vince becomes me. I don't know about this. For one thing, I haven't worn a suit and tie since I was in college. And another thing, Jonathan, you and I have, well, different dimensions. No, don't worry. It's custom tailored. They'll fit your dimensions perfectly. And if the suit fits? Charge it. Taking the barbell. Noel Tapman. Who's that? Oh, it's a long story. Well, I just love stories. Okay. To start with, the man killed outside your gym was a Scotland Yard inspector. Before he died, he whispered the name Noel Tapman. Jonathan checked it out, and it goes way back to World War II. Noel Tapman was sort of a master criminal. Kind of a genius and a little crazy. All he's interested in and all he ever steals is gold. The artifacts in his possession are priceless. And he's never gotten caught? Not yet. Find a place to hide the car and then call the police. 
I'm almost ashamed of how much pleasure that gave me. Let's go in the house and run back. Isn't this sheer... you on your perfect timing? Yes, but never in public. I'm plain old gold bricks again. And all those gold treasures are being returned to their native countries. And the best part of it all is that Noel Tubman's gonna spend the rest of his life in prison. I'll drink to that. Hey, I've got a great idea for you, Vince. What's that? Well, while he's in prison, you could set up a whole weightlifting program for him. Hey, that's great. He could use some firming up. He'll sure have the time. 